Hey guys, welcome to the stream. I'm just uh, just doing some behind the scenes setup stuff, so I'll give it like a minute or two and then we'll actually get into the game. I'm probably just going to leave the uh, the low five playing, so I think I'm just going to turn that turn off the uh, game music. Okay, we'll get into it now. So, I'm going to turn up the game sound a little bit. If it's a bit too quiet, I will turn it up further, but yeah. Uh, should, I, uh, should I turn down the music a little bit? I'll turn it down a little bit. My audio mixing is always terrible in these streams. Right, okay. Uh, so, yeah, definitely stillness. I... I, I was just like going through all my recommended stuff on YouTube and I just kind of fell down a rabbit hole because quite honestly a lot of my recommended because of various reasons is just like 30 second clips from various games and I fell down a rabbit hole I was at first I was just watching Halo Infinite gameplay and stuff just like you know highlights and stuff and then I fell down this rabbit hole of this mini series of just different locations in Deathly Stillness and different outfit showcases and stuff and I was just like this seems interesting. I looked into it. It's free on Steam. And uh, I thought, you know what? Sure, let's try it out. It looks interesting. Um, You know, when, when I'm saying, like, uh, I might get banned from Twitch for this, I, I've mostly been sarcastic or joking or whatever. I don't think it's bad enough for that because, like, it, it, it we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, But, yeah, it, it does have its own Twitch category, so I'm going to assume it's fine. And, uh... Yeah, it's keyboard and mouse, so that's gonna be fun because I'm terrible at keyboard and mouse. Let's just uh let's just jump into it. Oh we actually get to choose our character model. Oh my god that wait, you can have Okay, so you've got a bunch of just like generic male but oh hello. You've got a bunch of just like generic male but uh characters, a bunch of fe uh female We can actually have just like the equivalent I suppose. And then there's these and this is what I was seeing a lot of the gameplay of. These, um, I guess, Playboy bunny suits, I suppose. I'm gonna just change the color and stuff of the hair. Okay, um, I think for now we'll go in with one of the normal female bodies and we might, we might leave and use one of the mods later. Um, hmm, I don't know which one I like most. I don't know. We'll get. We'll go with this one with the uh, the crop jumper. Ah, uh, that works for me. How do I? I don't speak uh, Chinese or Japanese, which I want it is unfortunately. So it is Billy Billy. So I assume it's Chinese. Uh, I'm able to. Hmm. Oh, there's next. I'm completely blind. Uh, well, I'll take a scar. Play a bit of Fortnite. The scar's not even in Fortnite anymore. And we'll start with high wage because I don't know what to expect really. Oh, that's a lot of Chinese. Um, <laughs> yeah, Chinese reading I'm terrible at. I can understand it spoken a little bit. Okay, so WASD movement perspective switches Q and E. 
Okay, uh, left shift is sprint, walk is left control, that's fine. Melee is V, that's a bit awkward, I'd rather have F. Pickup is F, I'd rather that is E, but I guess... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with the controls yet. Flashlight is T. Okay, okay, I'd rather... Honestly, I'd rather that be uh, Y. As, as awkward as that is compared to... I don't know. Uh, quit settings, escape, keyboard guides, tab, and fire is left, and aim is right. Okay, uh, cool. So, zombies. Um, oh, we got a little cin cinematic cam. So, I believe from reading about this, this was made in 13 days. I want to say it's something like that. Just, uh, just over, uh, just under, sh sorry, sorry, two week. And, uh, oh, there's no... Oh, the toggle perspective is toggling shoulder. Yeah, I prefer right shoulder just because I'm kind of trained for it. Okay, um, so walking is that, running is that, and then the neutral is kind of in between. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we've got zombies. Okay, cool. Uh, reload is R, oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, they don't run as a horde, which is interesting. Cause usually that's how you see head, head streak, okay. Oh, nice one. Oh, wow. So, if you hit them directly in the head, they just die? Oh. Head struck. It won't streak. I just read that. Okay, so, so range does have to do with it. How many hit markers? There we go. Okay, so a headshot is a head struck. Okay. They don't seem to be pushing me too, too hard. I don't know whether... They, they will if I get closer. You know what? We'll, we'll move. We'll move a bit closer to him. Uh, we'll go over here. Do you, do you push me? Uh, is it F? There we go. Oh, some of them will. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that was uh, awkward. Oh, they can jump over the. Okay, I guess I can probably jump over that as well then. Yep, you can. Cool, cool. Uh, F. I'm gonna forget that it's F because I'm so used to E being uh, interacting, pick up and stuff. Yeah, sit down. You know what? Like to say this, like I couldn't make this in 13 days. Uh, kill all the zombies you see. Collect ammo supplies from the scene. Oh, so we, we just we literally just have to kill all the zombies. I think um, the reason why it is as simple as just killing all the zombies, I'm pretty sure that was like their mission, so to speak. They're like the thing that they were tasked with uh, when creating this game. They were told to uh, just make a game about killing zombies. Okay, there's 11 left. Okay. Uh, okay. Bye, please. There we go. Uh, there's one over there. There's one there. This is when my lack of uh, keyboard and mouse aiming ability kicks in. Oh my god. I am actually the worst. Um, right, we'll hit. Oh, okay. Well, I think that was my first non headshot. Uh, right. We'll see down here. Uh, I keep hitting E. Ah, I don't like, I don't like E being perspective shift. Okay, um, I, I don't know if I've missed any on the initial run pass. I'm, I'm going to quickly just backtrack. I assume there is just some over near that building, but I'm going to just double check that I didn't miss any here. Uh, it do doesn't seem to be the case. Hang on, can I, can I mantle? Is there a climb? I, I, I don't fully know what to expect with, with this. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay. Moving, moving on. There are definitely zombies I can hear on the right. The 3D audio is actually pretty good in this. Once again, like, I, I, you know, I spent a few months working on um, Oli Oli, and uh, not Oli Oli, Oni Oni, and Oni Oni is just a 2D platformer with some basic, um, basic parkour mechanics um, and a few like power ups. Oh, that's cool. Everything gets marked as well. Like I, I can't do 3D game design. It's just 
in my head, I just can't figure it out. And obviously, this is using Unreal. It's using a lot of the Unreal um, store stuff. There we go. Okay. A little cinematic cam. I like it. There we go. We got a win. Congratulations on your successful challenge. Okay. Uh, we'll go back to the main menu. And... Um, We'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll try one of the male skins just to see what the difference, if, it, if there's like a major difference in it. Uh, kind of like this guy. This guy's kind of cool. I like his mask. Um, I am very tempted to just go with that. <laughs> oh boy. Um, he doesn't even have shoes. Do any of them have shoes? Yeah, the rest of them have shoes. It's just him. Okay. Uh, it's like Captain America knockoff. This guy, this guy reminds me of Division. You know, we'll go with him. We'll go with him. Uh, we'll try the AKM this time, just to mix it up a bit. We'll go to Village. We'll, we'll try the the next one. We'll use Chinese Alley for the uh, for the mod outfit. <laughs> I do wonder if I suppose. Hmm. I suppose it depends if they've allowed it. You could definitely. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, I forget there's a cinematic camera. I was like, oh, well, I'm real close to the zombies. I forgot about that. Um, I suppose it it could be the case where. There is probably a Steam Workshop for this. Like the chances are, and are, are not like impossible that this would have it. This does feel like Plain Division. Like it's kind of weird how much this feels like Plain Division. Uh, what's melee? T. That's does flashlight. I can't remember. Is it tab? What's melee? V. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay. Well, that's a lot. That's a loud gun. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Where are they? I hear them in the house. They're upstairs somewhere. No, I wanted to press F. Yeah, I think having I think having the male models are slightly bigger and it does make it a little bit more difficult to uh to like aim if you're especially if you're close to structure. I know uh, it, it takes up a lot of your screen. I've got hiccups, whoops. <clears throat> uh I I I get really bad hiccups. Like I I think that felt like it's probably just a one-off, but like if I get hiccups, it's going to be pretty annoying because I get them pretty badly. Oh, hello, zombie. He really wanted to get me, didn't he? Uh, are some zombies. Did I not do that? Come on. Okay. You know what? I'll say it right now. Better than Last of Us 2. And I'm being kind of sarcastic. I, I I didn't like Last of Us 2. It was more to do with the story. The mechanics are obviously amazing in it. Uh, I can hear another zombie in here. Yeah, there we are. It sounds like there's zombies upstairs. Yeah. Uh, was there anything else? Jeez, okay. Um, is there any, uh, is there ammo up here? I don't know why I'm collecting this stuff, because I don't, like, I don't think I necessarily, I guess, uh, I guess I am starting to run, it, run out of ammo slightly. But, like, when I can one-shot headshot, as long as I'm, as long as I, yeah, you know, like, I, you know, I'm wasting some shots, I suppose. Oh, okay, hello. Yeah, the, the, the ones that, like, are kind of more... Destroy like the ones that are more rotten are definitely. Oh, hello. No, there's an ambulance. I like I like all the assets used in here. Like they're, they're all coherent, which is something you don't always see with Unreal Engine games. Like there was clearly some level of care for this game. Where are they? I can hear more of them coming, so I'm just kind of. There you are. Oh! 
He dodged me. He dodged me. Uh, reload. I can definitely hear one more. I don't know if it's coming for me though. Oh, hello. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of zombies in one small close up area. Okay. Uh, grab that. And grab that. Ooh, that was actually kind of, uh... A little, a little bit stressful, you know? There's a zombie in there. There's definitely some upstairs I can hear them. Oh no. Is there any more? They're over there. Oh, the way there's an upstairs? Oh, hello. Yeah, the, the male model is a little bit, a little bit too big for this. Like, it, it, it's a little bit more cumbersome to uh, to aim with him. It might, it might be maybe it's perspective thing. Uh, I guess that seems a little bit more clear actually. Yeah, maybe I have to just go against what I normally do and have it have it over the opposite, um, the opposite side maybe. Oh, I, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I'm real sorry about that. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I, d I don't want to quit. I just want to pause the game. No more for anymore? There's the one there. I feel like this is worse than the scar. I, I'm, I'm really thinking this is worse than the scar. Okay, there we go. Oh no! 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 Oh, I died. Oh wow. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with the scar, and I think I'm gonna go with the. Uh, we'll rest. Uh, I'll go main menu actually because I don't know if I'll be able to repick my outfit. Uh, you know what? We'll go with this. We'll we'll go with this one just just for this. As I say, I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use the mod for the Chinese alley. We'll start with the village. We'll do the village again with uh, with shirtless Mickey over here. <laughs> I'm gonna say like for a free game, this is actually really good. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, this is actually really good. For, and especially 13 days, I assume, one person. Just so, so, so good. So good. We'll go the opposite way around this time. See what, see what this has to offer. Oh, they ran out of that side. Okay. Cool. Uh There we go. I feel like taking out the ones that are on the street might be a smarter idea. Like starting with those ones and then moving on. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Uh, there's no one there. That one. Oh, hello. Okay, right. Okay. Fifty zombies in this small of an area is kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't know. See, it seems like a, a a lot of zombies for uh, such a small little neighborhood. Oh, you're fast. You're very fast. You're very worryingly fast. Okay. Uh, right. Let's go. Up here. Get that. Yeah, they can definitely jump higher than I can. 
Like, not by much, but they can definitely jump higher than I can. Where are they? I could hear them getting angry. I just want that. Yeah. I could hear them getting angry, so I was just like... Uh, there we go. Yeah, with, with proper ADS, this could be way better. Uh, back here, no. I kind of want to loot this first. Very nice. It reminds me a lot of uh, PUBG. There might actually be some asset sharing. As in, like, uh, some of this might be, like, un like unreal stuff that was actually used for PUBG. Any more for any more? I feel like a lot of this is just, like, kind of campy. Oh. Can I have to do this? No. Very loud. I don't think they know I'm here yet. Nope. Yeah, the scar's definitely my favourite. <laughs> okay, right. Reload. No, the reload time on this is so much better. Can I grab it, please? There we go. Uh, right. Let's go up the stairs. Be very, very careful. That was a big boy. Oh, hello. Okay, they're not the smartest of zombies, so I'll get I'll I'll say that much. Right, let's uh let's grab this ammo. Seems I've wasted so much getting here. Uh some more in here, lovely. It's very PUBG. Like I I, I feel very I feel like that's a really apt comparison, like calling it like a PUBG type game. Obviously it's not Bar Royale. It's actually I guess Daisy is probably more out. So yeah. What's the point of the torch? The torch I mean the torch is a good mechanic, I suppose, but like does it is there like a, a, a reason to use it? Or does it like stun zombies and that's all? I guess it might be more useful in the Chinese uh, village or whatever it is, the the last mission. Oh, I see you. I, I see them, but I can't actually hit them. That's unfortunate. Uh, right, is there a back door to this one? No. Oh, there's a side entrance. Okay. Could that be loaded? Hello. Uh, there's nothing else in here is now. It's always worth checking those just in case. Uh, is there anything up here? Not even any zombies works are there. Some, uh, I, I hear more coming. Cool. Uh, oh, <laughs> I got a little bit stuck there. Okay. Uh, well that's that. This house secure. I think we, I think overall now we've, we have secured all the houses. Like across the two. Oh, hey! Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. That was that was dangerously close. I'm on half health. I don't. Is there a way of? Do I heal over time? Is that a thing? Or do, I, do I just have a finite amount of uh, health, and if I lose it, or I just die? I can't quite tell if I'm if I'm healing. It doesn't look to be, but I don't know. Right, only 17 more anyway. 
That's that's not many. Oh, here they come. Alright, there's still zombies upstairs. Oh. Yeah, let's just get out of here a second. I need I need open air. Alright, okay. Ten more. And I can I know there's at least two in here because I can hear them. I think there's one in this side room here. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely... Like, the difficulty definitely goes up. There's definitely one in here, right? No? Okay. So there's two upstairs that I'm going to double check around here just in case. All right. Yeah, I can hear two upstairs. Or can I? No! Okay, I'm really low, but I only need six more. Uh, let's grab some ammo. Ooh, this is actually kind of getting stressful, you know? This is definitely, this is definitely a good game, though. I'm, I, I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm enjoying it more than uh, a certain other shooter that, that came out recently and I had to pay 60 quid for. I'm not, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> dice can do better, dice can do better. Um, right, okay. Is there, like, you know, we've got an ambulance, is there, like, meds in here? No, it's just, it's empty, okay. Uh, so where we just came from, yeah, it is. Okay, so... There we go. Okay. That was uh, definitely a more difficult level. But, I mean, honestly, not bad. Not bad. We did win. Uh, yeah, we did, we did well. Right, so I guess you waited long enough. Let's, uh, which one should we go for? They're all the same, like, model. It's just, like, different hair and different outfit. I kind of like the I can't like the the that one. No. We'll go with the white. We'll go with the white one. Uh, we're going to go with the scar because I've I've very much realised that it is the better weapon. Uh, right. So this is the Chinese village or whatever it was. Final, uh, final mission. Final, final uh, level. Whatever you want to call it. So yeah, if you're at all interested in just some mindless zombie killing, uh, this is really good. Chinese Alley, sorry, that's what it's called. And uh, yeah, it has a lot of... Yeah, it has a lot of this. So if you're interested in that, I would, I would definitely say this is actually a worthwhile thing to just, you know, check out. It doesn't hurt. It's free. And you are... You are Supporting a uh, indie game developer in a way by playing it. I'm definitely going to uh, be giving this a positive review. That's for sure. The the thing is, especially like it's free to play to begin with, but on top of that, like it looks pretty damn decent, and it has some pretty decent like it. It just looks good. It looks good. It plays well. I haven't had any major issues. Like, you know, this is a more well-put-together game than, than Battlefield 2042. Oh, hell. Okay. Right. Did I actually get that ammo? I think I did.
Yep, reload, reload, reload. Okay. Yeah, the, these models are definitely a bit... They stand out a lot. It, like... You know, if you told me this was a zombie killing game... I mean, probably... Actually, I probably believe you. I'm not going to pretend that I wouldn't believe that this is an actual thing. It's not ridiculous enough where I'm like, no, this, just, this can't be real. But it's ridiculous enough where I'm like, you know... Really? You know, this really got made? The torch is actually kind of useful in this, I will say. So it's, it's kind of funny that the torch was essentially just made for this one mission. Then again, uh, stealth mechanics are made up for one better one mission, so I mean, can't really complain. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Luckily, panic firing is a thing in this game. Oh, hello. It's as if some of the zombies, like, hear the gunshots and some just don't. Hmm. Grab that real quick. He's lucky there's so much just ammo in the streets. Like, I should, I should, like, you know, during a zombie apocalypse, if there's just this much ammo just, like, on the streets, I should go to, uh, I should go to China, you know? Streets are paved in bullets. I'm gonna reload before I get overrun here. I want this one to come through. Yeah, they are. Oh, hello, 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 hello. hello. Oh, okay, that was uh, that was a bit too many hits for my liking. We're not even halfway through as well. There's still there's still another 40 free zombies to get through out of 80. I can't hit that one. You know what? I'm going to go a different way around. Just because I, fi I feel like I might have a better advantage if I do that. I think this game probably needs crouching as well. Just like, I know they have slow walk. So it's like, that's like your equivalent anyway. Because it's your slower movement speed. I don't know. I think crouching would have made this game a little bit more of a complete game. So like whenever someone says like, oh yeah, PC is just a point and click adventure, or you just point and click and you hit. Like this is proof I am on the heads and I'm not hitting. And obviously that's to do with, uh, like, bloom and stuff. But, like, I don't know. The fact this game has bloom, though, to be fair, a lot of games like this just decide that they just want basic, um, you know, bullet... No, they want hit scan a lot of the time. It's interesting to have bloom. Like, it's Call of Duty. Even Call of Duty has, like, it's the hit scan technology. It's not... It's not the good... It's not the good shit where it's all, like... Uh, which way should I? I'll go this way first, just seems I'm on this. I was going to go left anyway, I just wanted to clear that one guy. But I didn't know how many were going to be there, and it's lucky that I did actually do the thing that I did, because I would have definitely got an overrun when there was that many on both sides. Wait, is this, is this area clear? One more ammo. That's, that's nice. This has definitely been the best for ammo. Like, I've, uh, there's been a lot of uh, bonus ammo just lying around. I really like the aesthetic of this place. I get, like, I get, it's just, it's just China, you know, it's, China's a nice enough place. It is kind of crazy, though, how this is, uh, you know, it's on Steam. And, you know, it was developed by someone in China. Oh, no. But it's developed by someone in China. Uh... Oh no. We've got the bots in chat today. I cannot actually remove um, them. One second while I just quickly remove a uh, chat bot. I love, I love when I have to do this. Right, okay. Hmm. 
Cool. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. I know. I know you. You guys can't see it in uh, on stream because I'm on stream view. But yeah, chatbots. They're the worst. Um. Right. Let's let's switch it up. Let's have a different outfit. We'll go with one of the colorful ones. Uh. This one's got pink hair as well. So we'll get. We'll, I think we'll go with that one over the one with white hair. Uh, Scar again because it is definitely the better weapon. Try and use Ali. Let's go. Like, I can't even. The thing is, like I keep thinking, I keep going to be like, oh yeah, it's a shame that the like loading screen things are all in Chinese and stuff rather than being, you know, in English. Most of this is in English. Like I can't really complain. It's like not none of the essentials are exclusively in Chinese. Like, a lot of them have both. A lot of them are both Chinese and, and English. But, like, I, I don't know. The, this game, I appreciate it. Like, I don't know if it's just a language setting that I have. It's, like, it having, um... It, oh, it's white on the back, but it's... Oh, wait, no. Is that the lighting? That's the lighting. Okay, it is, it is actually red all over. Or pink all over, whichever one I picked. Okay, right. This bit's a bit of a point point click adventure because they're all they're all close enough where I can hit them pretty accurately with headshots. No. Oh I hit. There we go. Ah, the thing is, you start off with a lot of ammo, and there's a ton of ammo on, on the actual map, so it's actually pretty good in that regard. Uh, I'll switch up a few because I know there's some here. We're good. There's two more there, I think. Yeah. Ooh, okay, right. Grab that. That's already 19 down, like just off that. Right, we're gonna do what we did before. We're gonna go get all the loot from this, clear out that one, and then we're gonna work our way back around and uh, deal with the horde that's over there because either way you, you kind of have to clear one of these ways oh no you have to clear one of these ways regardless first or you will be screwed like that, that that's the that's the thing like you kind of have to clear this way or clear that way um if you want to like be fine It's like it'll help if I clear that bit first as well. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, there's a zombie coming. Nice one. Uh, right, let's grab this ammo. Grab the ammo that's over here as well. Uh, oh, oh, grab it all. Zombies don't seem to be too fussed about me right now. So yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's at least eight right there. So I'm probably best clearing as much of this as possible. I don't like how much um, the shirtless ones actually like run. There we go. I'm not the best shot, as you can probably tell. There we go. Uh, right, so... There we go. There's that one there. Can I hit them? There we go. Right, so that's that entire 
Um, no, that's that specific alley done. That's all this done. I'm going to quickly grab that. Then I'm going to uh, back away slowly and then run. We're going to go all the way back around. We're just going to do the same tactic as before. We're going to do a full run round. And uh, hopefully from there we'll be able to do a decent job. Uh, let's reload. I need to switch back to that shoulder. Right, let's grab this ammo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus Christ, that took a while. Uh, right. Put them down. There we go. Right, okay, we're not doing bad. We're actually a little bit lower on ammo than I think we were this at this point last run. But that's not necessarily an issue. Like, if I can just hit shots more, <laughs> we should be fine. There's no one else there. We get plenty of ammo from this bit anyway, so. So, we're good, we're good. Uh, right. I'm just going to check that I have cleared this area. There's also ammo at the end of here, so. Let's assume you can just, like, open doors and stuff. Like, I, f I feel like this would be even better if you were able to, uh, like, adventure a little bit more. I don't know. I, I, I'm not, crit these aren't criticisms, because I, like, as I say, I know this was one person working on it as, like, a bit of, a, like, a project. Um... Like, I, I couldn't do something this good. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I lost way too much health there. That wasn't good. Um... Oh, my ammo was good. I just... Oh, there's someone there. It's okay, I saw that. Okay. So, yeah, backing, uh, just firing and backing up does actually work. It just wastes a lot of ammo. There's 16 more. Oh. oh okay, right. Let's, uh, let's reload. No! Eight left. Wow. Okay. There we go. Protagonist is dead. Honestly, I think I think we know what's gonna happen if I actually win. I'll I'll kill a few more zombies and then it'll be over. I wish that this this location in the loading screen, you know this uh this dilapidated I guess school gym. No, I don't know. Um I, I think that if that was location, that'd be really cool. But yeah, as is, um, we'll quickly bring up the statement thing. I've already read it, but it's essentially just saying how this was produced by um, the Billy Billy creator, Jiasheng Chen, or Chen Jiasheng, uh, for Unreal Engine. Uh, it took ha uh, da -da -da -da. a Billy Billy live broadcast challenge half an hour to make a game of shooting zombies. Uh, the total development time is 17 days. And uh, it was released on Steam so that people could play it. Uh, or rather, so that Billy Billy fans could actually play it. Which is uh, pretty cool. Um, everything came from the Unreal Mall, the Unreal Store. So, uh, yeah, we're going to quickly click on this. I, I, I don't know if I have access to Billy Billy because I'm in the UK. Uh, oh, we actually do. Okay, I'll quickly switch over to... I'll quickly make a view that actually has the... React screen. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just bring it up. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to change the filter. I want the that one. Right. So th this is the uh, Billy Billy challenge. Uh, once again, I don't speak uh, Chinese, so 
Um, no, we're now starting. Three, two, one. I believe this might okay. be. Yeah, this uh, this is the person that actually made it. Turn down the volume a bit. So this is the progress of actually like making it all the way through. I don't know how to. There we go. Um, is this? Yeah, this is the guy that made it. It's like, it's pretty cool. It's actually pretty neat. I, 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 I'm always a fan of this kind of stuff. So it's all just Unreal Engine uh, creation, just the connecting things. Unreal Engine is something that I've wanted to learn for a long time. I've just never got around to it. It's a very complicated thing if you don't have um, any idea what you're doing. Uh, for someone like me that has had experience with similar software, but in a 2D aspect, you know, it's not unreasonable to, uh, you know, be able to learn it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to show this entire video. I will link to this um, on the, if you're watching the YouTube backup of this, the YouTube recording of this, uh, it will be linked below. I'll make sure of that. But um, yeah, it's very cool. It's very, very neat. Very interesting. I'm fine of this. I, I, I really do like this, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna quickly just switch it back to stream screen. There we go. Uh, what else is there? Because there's the uh, producers as well. Chen Jiang. Uh, I come from China. YouTube channel is Chen Jiang. Jie Chang, sorry. I keep saying that wrong. I'm sorry. Four years of Unreal Engine user experience. Two years of Unreal Engine lecture experience. So someone actually teaches how to use Unreal Engine, which is pretty cool. And in 2018, I started recording free Unreal 4 and uh, tutorials at Bilibili which helped many beginners get started. And uh, he won the official authorized lecture over Unreal Engine in 2019 and started to produce the standalone version of PUBG in the same year. Okay, so it, there is actually like PUBG DNA in this. That's interesting. I've been starting a business since 2020. Very cool. Um, but yeah, that's Deathly Stillness. It's, as I say, it's free on Steam. Um, just search Deathly Stillness on Steam and it'll come up. It's literally the, the first result. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, even if it's only gonna burn you through like half an hour. Honestly, like this might be something that I just come back to from time to time. I, it's small enough where I don't think I'm gonna uninstall it. Uh, it might be something that I just come back to from time to time. I might stream it again at some point. This was never gonna be a long stream before anyone like goes, oh, then why is the stream only an hour? I I was never gonna stream for more than uh, more than an hour realistically because I just wanted to test it out. Uh, I, say, I fell down a rabbit hole of seeing all the different locations and, and the outfits and stuff. So I just wanted to play it myself before I'd stream it rather than... Uh, because to be fair, what I usually do with games like this is I record um, myself playing them uh, without the commentary. I just throw it onto the inventory just as a look what I played recently that's kind of interesting. You know, I'm going to try and stream things more uh, just generally. It doesn't help that a lot of the time when I'm playing stuff like this, I don't really have the energy to talk or it's very late and I'm not wanting to wake up my uh, my flatmates or anything. So it's like, it's one of the weird things, but it's like, I'm probably going to start streaming a lot more where it's just very laid back, maybe some lo-fi in the background and just little commentary, just kind of sat back, playing a game. Um, there are a few things that I'm planning on doing that with, but you know, I'll always be doing my regular stuff of playing like Titanfall and Call of Duty and I say Call of Duty, Battlefield and Halo and stuff like Fortnite as well, like all, all the classics that I always like to cover. But yeah, that that's definitely stillness. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I say like the uh, like the stream. Is that a thing? No, you can follow anyway. You can follow. I always forget. I always forget what the actual system is on Twitch. But yeah, thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll I'll see you next time. See ya. I forgot what button it is. <laughs>